Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano. Thank you for joining us. We are learning new details about the moments right after a billionaire se accused sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in a New York City jail cell. The well-connected financier died Saturday while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. Attorney General William Barr announced Monday a federal investigation into Epstein's death and vowed to go after anyone else involved in his alleged crimes. This all comes as newly released pictures show a team of federal agents raiding the home on Epstein's 70-acre private island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. CBS News correspondent Molo Lenghi has the latest. These photos from Saturday morning show Jeffrey Epstein's body being wheeled out of the Metropolitan Correctional Center. And another photo is said to be Epstein carried in a black body bag. CBS News has learned how on Saturday morning, as guards tried to revive him, they said, breathe, Epstein, breathe. Commotion was heard coming from the area around Epstein's jail cell, described as yelling, shouting, shrieking. This sex trafficking case was very important to the Department of Justice. Today, Attorney General William Barr vowed to find out what happened. I was appalled and frankly angry to learn of the MCC's failure to adequately secure this prisoner. Barr insists now victims will be heard. Attorneys for alleged victims tell CBS News that more lawsuits against Epstein's estate are imminent. Jack Scarola is an attorney who represents some of those victims. Epstein's death does not end the liability of his estate. Whatever cases are currently pending and whatever new cases will be filed still have a viable chance at producing a recovery for victims. The 66-year-old Epstein was awaiting a June 2020 trial date, accused of running a sex trafficking operation and abusing dozens of teenaged girls. Documents unsealed on Friday contain allegations that Epstein's ex-girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, played a, quote, important role in Epstein's sexual abuse ring, directing an underage girl to have sex with Epstein and others. Maxwell strenuously denies those allegations and has not been charged. New York's chief medical examiner has completed Epstein's autopsy, but the results are pending. A representative for workers at the Metropolitan Correctional Center tells CBS News the death of Epstein here is not a surprise. She told us staffing is completely inadequate, with workers putting in more than 60 hours a week, leaving them overwhelmed and not alert. Any co-conspirators should not rest easy. The victims deserve justice, and they will get it. Attorney General William Barr said today that the Department of Justice is now learning of serious irregularities at this facility that are deeply concerning and demand a thorough investigation. The FBI and the Office of the Inspector General are now investigating Epstein's apparent suicide. Elaine? Mola Lenghi, thank you. Julie Rendleman is a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor, and she joins me now. Julie, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So what does the death of Jeffrey Epstein mean for his accusers and the cases that they have against him? It means a lot. I mean, these are individuals that have been waiting to face him, not just in a civil proceeding, but in a criminal proceeding. And without him, um, they are not able to go forward and kind of see the justice they want to see. They may see money, but they're not going to see him go to further prison. Well, how did the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan fail to follow the usual protocol for confining this kind of suspect? There's so many mistakes that were made um, from, from top to bottom. And one of the biggest issues is keep in mind, when you have an individual that is accused of such a, sec a sexual type of crime, pedophilia, and pedophile in this case, um, in and of itself, um, you're going to assume that there's dangers with this individual wanting to harm themselves. Now take a 66-year-old individual who clearly has no, understands at this point that there's no way he's getting out of it. Um, put that all together, and now you have kind of the situation you have now where no one was watching, and this is what happens. I mean, is it clear where the responsibility for Epstein's death actually falls? Is it the person who signed off on taking him off of suicide watch? Is it the warden at the jail? There's so many stories going out there. There's some that are saying that it's the actual attorneys that asked for him to no longer be on suicide watch. But then you start to talk about psychologists. Did they not understand that he had just hurt himself 
less than a week and a half ago, mm -hmm. and now suddenly he's not on suicide watch. The people that weren't watching him, the fact that they failed to have another individual in the room, with, in, the, in the cell with him, which was part of protocol. So many mistakes along the way. Um, we heard the attorney general say he was appalled to learn of the jail's failures. What role now does William Barr actually have moving forward in all of this? Well, it, it, people want answers. And, you know, it's funny because we talk about Jeffrey Epstein. These incidents have been happening long before Jeffrey Epstein came along. The fact that he's such a public figure makes people more aware. Just shines a spotlight uh, on this it, issue. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so one wonders why people didn't wake up earlier. Look, no one woke up years ago when it came to what Jeffrey Epstein had done. There have been failures in that system for a long time, and it took now Jeffrey Epstein's death for people to wake up and start doing something about it. So William Barr is going to be the person that uh, he's going to continue to kind of get those answers or at least seek out those answers? He has to. He has to figure out what went wrong um, in the facility itself and, you know, and who's responsible. It's not simply just the guards that are responsible. It seems that every move along the way made it easy for Jeffrey Epstein to take his life. So there's a lot of mystery surrounding the extent of Jeffrey Epstein's fortune. Last month, prosecutors said he was worth at least $500 million. So what will happen to that wealth? I think that what what you can expect is there's going to be a lot of attorneys um, going after that money. They're going to want to seize his money. Um, they're going to want to make sure it's not divvied up to any possible family members. And I think you're going to see tons of civil uh, suits coming forward, especially in the advent of the new New York law that came out, which extends the statute of limitations for many of his victims. And I think you're going to see that money seized and potentially going to the various victims. A lot more to come on this story. Julie Rendleman. Julie, thank Thank you very much for your insight. Thank you for having me.